black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.
Just look at them. Just look at them. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Butter and Sodium Super Highway. <laughs> Yo, what up? Welcome back to a little bit of a different vibe. Natural light. We got a little different setup here today. I'm digging it. It might happen more in the future. But yeah, I was laying around on a Sunday, keeping it chill. And I thought about things that I had in my cabinet and fridge and this is where my old crazy brain went to go. It flipped the world upside down and made bacon, buffalo, mac and cheese sandwiches. And uh, I gotta say, it's uh, undoubtedly that it, it's gonna taste good, I feel like. It just has to. So uh, I wanna get into it, but before we do anything more, we must pour. So. I'm about to blow your damn minds today because we're taking it to a whole new realm. We're bringing in that Deli Sink, aka Five Alive, but it is the peach flavor. So we're bringing in a fruit juice, full of sugar fruit, switch up, change up. I'll tell you what. Five Alive is real. The peach even more so. And what's even more real than all that is the citrus related razor blade heartburns, uh, acid reflux that Five Alive provides. It should be called Five Almost Fucking Kill You after you drink it. So here's to Five Almost Death Alive. But it's so so smooth. It's so smooth. All right, two things guaranteed in this video. Messy and sweaty. I know I'm gonna sweat, so don't sweat me, okay? First one I gotta go with is obviously the one that the ranch daddy had to do. I am the ranch father, and you know that of course, had to drench it. You know what? Let's bring it in for a bike cam. Yeah. Ooh, there she be. <laughs> oh, those banana peppers are gonna light me up. But let's do it. A sandwich made of carbs. Quit playing. Mm. Salty, tangy, rich. The ranch was the right move. I kept the other ones a little more plain just in case. The ranch didn't hit, but the ranch hits. Mm. Wow. That was surprisingly. So good. I've never buffalo sauced mac and cheese before, but uh, I can tell you one thing. It's legit. Of course, we had to have a little deli style cloths and pickle. Best pickles in the known universe. Mm. Nothing beats 
kosher dill, especially a cold crisp one. Yo, those uh, those pickled peppers. provide such a nice cut. As you guys might have saw during the uh, beginning, the first snow has fallen and I'm not ready. I'm not ready to be Mr. Plow. I'm not ready to wake up. to four feet, snow blow, shovel. I do though, how, however, have to get back on my snowboard this year. It's been, I don't even know how long, five years, probably longer since I snowboarded. I still got it. <laughs> I really hope I still got my skills. Might be a little rusty at first, but I think all the uh, basics will be there. I just won't have like the touch to do all the weird little tricks. But I've done it since I was 12, so it's like, it's pretty much second nature. So I'm excited for that. Get some exercise and do something that's super fun. Ooh, an untoasted spot. This side though, hitting perfect I think, I'd say. Okay. Good without the ranch. Come on. Be my sandwich holder. There we go. This meal is just screaming acid reflux. Buffalo sauce, those peppers, and this orange juice. It's gonna be bad. It's better with the ranch though. I have to say. So we do it. Oh yeah. Much better with the ranch. Just wanted to keep that uh, cooking intro like super zen. Just the all natural cooking sounds. So I hope that was enjoyable for you. I've also just been having such weird issues with music copyright strikes. I signed up for Epidemic Sound, which is like free, royalty free, like a paid service. I downloaded a song from there, I've used it, and it's got copyright striked a bunch of times. I'm like, is it this service that I pay for with this royalty music supposed to never have to have that happen?
Oh, the fun times with YouTube. Loki, five alive is rivaling this as star of the show. It's so good. <laughs> I made three for presentation. I knew I can't eat the ball. I don't even know if I'll finish this one. That's gotta be it. It's just so rich. Buttery, salty. Gotta call it there. But if you're inspired and feel so inclined, give them a try. They're good. But till the next one, you know what to do eat good, live well, stay true.